Hello and welcome back to some more Football Manager 2021. This is a part 65 of uh, the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Aston Villa. Today we take on West Ham away from home in the Premier League looking to continue uh, riding the top of the table and we play uh, Leeds United in the fifth round of the FA Cup looking to continue our chance of winning our third FA Cup of the series and tr keeping the, the double hopes alive. So, uh, since you were last with me, quite a lot has happened. I will show you. Um, I think it was Arsenal where we last played. We then lost 3-0 to Manchester City away from home. I was very worried by that performance. We were very, very poor. And, uh, y you know, it was worrying signs that maybe the wheels were starting to come off a bit. But we bounced back with a brilliant 4-1 victory against Everton with Neymar, John Reyes and Oscar Garcia scoring there. We then beat Derby County 5-1 in the FA Cup fourth round uh, with Hayley Henry, Tammy Abraham and John Reyes scoring. And then um, we beat uh, Southampton 2-0 with John Reyes and Tammy Abraham scoring. We then beat Burnley 5-1 with Jose Gea getting his first goal and John Reyes scoring a hat-trick and Neymar scoring the other goal there. Then we beat uh, Leeds United 4-1 in the league with Emre Kurt, Neymar and Luis Suarez scoring. And most recently we beat Wolves 4-1. So, you know, we've been scoring a hell of a lot of goals recently. And that all means that we are currently in first position in the Premier League. We are five points clear of second place Manchester City with 11 games to go. If we can keep this up, we will be winning the title this year. We haven't got any European... Uh, nonsense to think about. We've got the two top scorers in the league. Uh, we've got the third best player, the first best assist maker. And Neymar, speaking of Neymar, we have given him an extra year at the club. 50 grand uh, lower wage. It's, he's still on 100k, which you might think is insane for a 35-year-old. But he's having his best season at the club ever. Um, you know, maybe not in terms of goals scored, but... 12 assists, uh, 7.3 average rating, you know, and only 22 games. He may well go on and, and score the amount of goals that, that he did in previous years. He's been in a rich vein of form. He said he wanted to stay, so we gave him one more year on the contract, and we'll see how he gets on next year. Some of his attributes are still going up, even though his physicals are, are very much declining, but his technical and mental stats are getting better all of the time. And, of course, he is the club captain as well. So, hopefully, he will, um, you know, keep up this good form for the rest of this season and uh, be a key player for us next season. We have uh, had a bit of transfer business since the last episode as well. Quite a few players that have gone out uh, here, there and everywhere. So, Mulder went out on loan. Bogard went out on loan as well. Um, Christine went to Norwich for £5 million. Didn't really get a fair crack at the whip at the club. He's 23 years old now, wasn't really showing much progression. He's got excellent physicals, but not a lot else going for him, unfortunately. He's had nine decent games in the championship so far for Norwich, but uh, he, he only played in two matches for us. And, you know, he performed solidly in those matches, but uh, I, I didn't really see a future for him at the club. Uh, Jorge Sales, our wonder kid striker. Uh, unfortunately, he's been very much overshadowed by uh, John Reyes this season, so I've loaned him out. I think it's really important that he gets some game time. He's gone to a top European club in FC Porto, and he's playing pretty well for them. So hopefully he can score a, a shed load of goals uh, for Porto between now and the end of the season, and we'll have a, a dream partnership up top in Salas and um, uh, Reyes up top next season. Uh, we then sold Diogo Yotta for £26 million. Remember, we signed him for £11.75 a few years ago. He's only actually played four times a season and never really uh, played too well when he did play. Never really lived up to the, the heights of his, uh, his first season. When he came in on loan that second half of the year, that we finished third, I believe. Uh, that was the year we did that. Um, he then came in the next January and helped us out of a relegation battle. Um, but yeah, he, he's he's never really hit those heights again. Uh, Danny Henson and Aaron Ramsey have gone out on loan again. And Karel Reddin has gone to Cardiff for 9.25k. Uh, on the incomings, we brought in one player just to 
uh, just to sort of bolster the squad a little bit. Uh, Thomas Lamai, he's 31 years old now. We've only brought him in on loan for the rest of the season. Um, he's played a couple of games. He did all right. Um, he, he was at Man City for years and years, uh, had an excellent season a few years ago, and then just hasn't seemed to, to play that much since then, unfortunately for him. Um, and hopefully, you know, he can be another Diogo Yota. He comes in for half season, does a job, and then he goes on his merry way. So that is where we're uh, where we're going at the moment. Dynamics are looking excellent. So everything is pointing in the right direction for uh, what we could do. So hopefully we can have a good performance today. So this is the team we've got against West Ham today. Diogo Costa starting goal with Estevez, Kurt, Brindley and Mendes in defence. We've then got Rice and Henry in the midfield with Oscar Garcia and Neymar starting wide of John Reyes and Tammy Abraham up top. We've got a very strong bench and, you know, I think that's been one of our massive strengths this year is, is the depth that we've, we've got at the football club. Plenty of, of really top quality players um, that, that we can call upon time and time again, which is which is awesome. So here we go then uh, into the, the West Ham match. You know, after I've built them all up today, we'll probably get beat 5-1. Now, I haven't actually played the game for a couple of days. I've had a little rest from it. Um, and we all know that if you stop playing in Football Manager, you lose your next game because it punishes you. So I'm hoping that's not going to be the case. I'm hoping we are going to um, show you guys exactly what we're capable of. As you've seen many, many times in the past with this system, you know, we can play some wonderful football and here we go straight away he has Hady Henry cuts inside hits the post unlucky there but uh, not a good sign if we hit the post early on that that maybe it's going to be one of them days what a save from Diogo Costa there he really has uh, come of age this season and, and Emiliano Martinez has, has fell back into that uh, sort of backup position which is a shame because he's been a, a club legend um, and as I'm talking everybody up, I'm just going to pretend that, that what's just happened didn't happen. And uh, we're going to berate the boys and, and get them going again. We're going to move attacking now and hopefully get back into this match. Here's Brooks. And they, they get it in again. Estevez away. He has Patrick De Paul. A good save from Diogo Costa there. West Ham definitely with the momentum at the moment. He has Mendes with a free kick. Now Brindley. Mendes again. Mendes, oh, try to get it to Rice there. He has De Paula. And it's a good save from Diogo Costa. But, uh, oh, Mendes gets injured. That's a bit of a shame. And unfortunately, I haven't put Gear in the match squad. So Thomas Lamar's going to have to play at left back. I mean, we could put Kurt out there, but uh, we'll, we'll give Lamar a chance at left back. We'll see how he gets on. But that's a shame. Because Mendes has just come back from injury as well. He has uh, La Quintana. Oh, Neymar with a good tackle. Henry with a good tackle. Now Colwell pushing forward. Go on, Declan Rice. Oh, Garcia cuts it out. Oof, that looked awful. He has Neymar now. Neymar on the ball. Henry. Neymar gets it forward. Tammy Abraham. Oh, that was annoying. All right, come on. Berate the boys. We'll play for set pieces as well. And try and get ourselves going here. Neymar with the corner. Oh, it's Abraham. It's off the post. And that's twice now we've hit the post. Yeah, it's not going to be our day, is it? Neymar gets it into the middle. Reyes is there. But it's back to Neymar. He has Declan Rice now. Neymar cuts inside. Emre. Back to Estevez. Neymar with another corner. Into the middle. Oh, well, Emre Kurt was there. Now Declan Rice. Garcia shoots wide. But that's a lot better in the last 10 minutes or so than what uh, followed previously. Here's Colwell on the ball. Gets it to Patrick De Paula now. Here's Luis Diaz and it's 2-0 to West Ham. It just always happens. It's so frustrating that when you don't play for a little while, FM just sticks its middle finger up at you. And says, how dare you not play? He has a defeat. Garcia gets it forward. Here's Neymar now on the ball. And it's it's away. Garcia now Henry to Rice. If we can get a goal back before half-time, we're still in this. 
Estevez, Rice, Henry makes it 2-1. Eddie Henry with his third goal of the season. And he's really starting to come into his own in that midfield role now. We've uh, we've stuck him in there. And he's done an excellent job. He's sort of doing what Paul Pogba was doing in that position last season. You know, going forward, scoring goals, which is exactly what we want to see. Um, we're coming to half time now, and it is half time. And it's two one to West Ham. And I think we're going to thrash our arms. We're going to say we're we're disappointed. Um, and Garcia might be the the first man to come off in the second half. So fifty five minutes gone. I think it's time for our first substitution. Who are we going to bring off? John Reyes not having the best of games. So why don't we? Bring Calvert Lewin on and swap him round with Tammy Abraham. See how he gets on, uh, and then we'll leave it like that for a bit. And we might bring on uh, Emil Smith Rowe soon on the right hand side. Here's Brooks, Fielding, Colwell, Rice gets it away. Colwell again. Patrick De Paula gets it forward. Oh, and Costa snuffs it out. Wonderful to see. Is he going to boot it forward? Yes, he is. Calvert-Lewin should have got his noggin on that, but he didn't. He has Butnik. Butnik pushing forward. Gets it forward to Brooks now. Brooks on the ball. Oh, that looked like it was going to be a penalty. It wasn't, though. Here's Garcia now. We're on the counter-attack. This is where we can be so deadly. Oscar Garcia gets it forward to Abraham. He was on side. Abraham gets it in. Hedy Henry scores! Fourth goal of the season. And Hady Henry equalises for us. And it's two goals apiece. After 57 minutes. And that was wonderful to see. Tammy Abraham with the assist. And now here's Lamar. Here's Calvert-Lewin. Lamar again. We're going forward. Here's Calvert-Lewin. What's he going to do with it? Gets it back to Henry. Henry into Neymar. That's got to be a penalty, has it? Declan Rice has scored. I don't care if it's a penalty. What a goal that was from Declan Rice. And in the space of five minutes, we've turned this match around. We're back to 3-2 in front now. And we've got the momentum. So I'm going to stay attacking for the next five, ten minutes before moving it back to balanced. Just to try and get a, a two-goal cushion here. Because we have got the momentum. We are playing well. Let's go and take advantage of that. So we've got a free kick. It's Neymar with the free kick. He's scored a few of these recently. And there's another one. That is why Neymar's got an extra year at the club. Because he can do things like that. That no other player at the football club can do at the moment. That was brilliant from Neymar. Another free kick scored. And it's 4-2. And unbelievably from 4-2 behind we've managed to... To bring this back. We're going to bring on uh, Andreas Christensen. For this last 18 minutes. Because Emre Kurt was booked. And he wasn't playing well. And that seemed a recipe for disaster. Estevez got it in. Rice. Now well he's lost it. Here's Butnik. But Rice wins it back. Rice to Garcia. Here's Abraham. Abraham on the ball. What's he doing with it? Henry. Nope. Nope. Here's Rice. Estevez. Running forward, Estevez forward. Tammy Abraham makes it five. And now we can really relax and, and breathe a little bit because we've shown our quality here in this second half. We really have done. From 2-0 down to win this 5-2 is, is very, very impressive. And uh, this is exactly what we've been doing. Uh, you know, we did it against Derby County. We were, I think, down for about 60 minutes in that game. And then just turned it round and, and beat them 5-1 in the end. It's totally bizarre. We seem to be asleep in the first 20 minutes, half an hour of the match. And, you know, sometimes it costs us, like against Man City, but they're a quality side. You know, West Ham haven't got quite as much quality as as, as Man City. So we can, we can afford to potentially wake up a bit later. That's going to be offside, unfortunately. By the way... For the first time ever, I've seen a goal awarded in this situation uh, not so long ago. But that one's not going to be awarded. <laughs> but yeah, we have actually, uh, I've seen one. And that's the first one in the whole of, of FM21. So it, it shows you how rare rare goals awarded are when it comes to, to VAR. But here's Colwell, now Vincent. 
Brooks and it's kicked away. Here's Calvert Lewin. No, Calvert Lewin again. Oh, yeah, just a little bit sloppy there, and we we might concede another goal here. Here's Colwell. Now Mania. Oh, Christensen gets it away. Nice to see. Here's Abraham gets it forward to Calvert Lewin, who's using his pace now. Dominic Calvert Lewin forces a great save from the goalkeeper. And ten minutes to go now. Here's Neymar. Whips it in. Abraham hits the post. Very, very dangerous now. And we're just pushing West Ham further and further back. Christensen just controlling it. Here's Rice now to Garcia. Garcia keeps going. Garcia loses it somehow. <laughs> oh, dear. End of highlight. But look at these performances. Very nice to see. And Declan Rice has really come into his own this season. Um, after a bit of a, you know, a mess season last year. I'm hoping James Madison's going to improve. Because that was a, a, a an expensive mistake at the moment. Here's Vincent. Gets it in. Abraham away. Here's Patrick De Paula now for West Ham. I would like to keep it at 5-2 if possible. I don't want to concede another goal. Here's Mania. Anguissa. Oh, it's a nice little tackle there. Anguissa again. What's he going to do with it? Patrick De Paula. Fielding. And there we go. Full time. And we were exceptional in the second half, I think it said. At the bottom, outstretched arms. What a comeback that was. And, you know, that that's the sign of champions. We were down today. We, we were 2-0 down. We could have just rolled over and said it's not going to be our day. But we fought and we fought. We kept pushing. We kept creating chances. And eventually we started taking them. And uh, we came out 5-2 winners in the end. And that's exactly the sort of resilience we've been showing for so long now. We're going to put our arm around... Um, him that's fine cool enthusiastic brindley credits manager team talk very good so we've won six in a row now and we've smashed west ham as they say and i mean one thing to learn from this season we don't draw very often we don't draw very often we either lose or we win most of the time um we've got an excellent goal difference which is great to see and we're just scoring goals, and a lot of players are scoring goals, and that's why we're that's why we are where we are, and that's what had went away, you know, for the last couple of seasons. Players weren't scoring goals, you know, and now we've got rid of Ollie Watkins and we've brought in young, fresh, hungry blood. We seem to be going from strength to strength, but we need to to back that up in the FA Cup now against Leeds United. Well, a couple of changes for the Leeds United match then. Uh, Thomas Lamar comes in at left back because uh, Gear uh, is, is is cup tied and Nuno Mendes is out for four to six weeks, unfortunately. Um, we have brought in Tangai Endombele for Hedy Henry, who's a little bit tired. James Madison comes in on the left wing for the tired Neymar. Uh, and everything else stays the same. So why don't we get into the match? Max Norman Williamson is uh, is back, but he is one uh, yellow card away from suspension. So um, I think we'll wait. Uh, um, okay, then. Why don't we go for Thomas Lamar there? We'll get Lucas out of the team because he's not going to be here next season. Uh, he's joining whoever he's joining. I uh, can't remember who Lucas is joining now. Napoli, which it seems a, an odd signing to me, but there you go. Um, so Max Norman Williamson comes in. He's been a fantastic signing, by the way. Um, and we'll see how we get on against Leeds today. I'm really looking forward to this, actually. Um, you know, they're they're a they're a good good squad, but we've played them quite a lot in the FA Cup and had. A decent amount of success against them. So let's hope that that continues today. And we've managed to get through to the quarterfinal of the FA Cup once again. We have had a wonderful record in the FA Cup so far this save. It would be nice if we could uh, keep that record going. And, you know, I, I certainly wouldn't complain if we won the double this year. Because that means, you know, gives us a bit of breathing space with the, the whole... Sir Alex Ferguson challenge, you know, because if we win the league this year, but not the cup, we need to win the league and the cup next year uh, to keep going. So 
Elias Reyes pushing forward. He was very anonymous last game, and that wasn't the best from him there. It was a good run, but didn't have the, the finishing product. He has uh, Rice, good header from Norman Williamson there. He has an end on belly, gets it forward to Oscar Garcia, who sticks it into the back of the net. That was brilliant. That was composed, and a wonderful ball from end on belly as well. And this is what I mean. You know, we've slotted a few guys in into this squad. Um, you know, and, and we've still got that fluency. And uh, that was just a brilliant, brilliant uh, ball through from Endombele. And it's 1-0 to the Villa. Let's keep it going. Nelson. Brindley away. He has Shackleton. Oh, Schmolshich. Sh no idea. Ravella. Ravella now, Willock gets it forward, Sigerson's there and that was poor, poor defending and uh, Diogo uh, Costa will will feel a little bit um, responsible for that because I think he, he should have been quicker off his line here, he was too slow to react and, and that's what's cost us there, but it's one all, it's certainly not over yet, Estevez, Garcia, Gets it forward to John Reyes now. John Reyes back to Garcia. Reyes. Reyes in and end on Bele scores. Wonderful. Tangai. End on Bele, who, bless him, hasn't really played much football this season. He's been injured on and off. But he has come in over the last few matches and, and done a really good job, actually. And uh, he already assisted the first goal and he's managed to, to stick that in uh, to get the goal he deserves. And we're 2 1 up here. Unbelievable. Estevez. Uh, Smorich gets it away. Yes. Sharlov. Now Shackleton. A Ravella gets it forward to Shalov now. Here's Shackleton. Come on. We need to get a tackle in there, boys. Come on. Willock. Come on. Joe Willock. Ravella. Quinn. Good block. Another good block. Nelson. Sigerson. 2-2. Two, two, two. Unbelievable, this. Arna Sigerson scores, and after 16 minutes, we've already had four goals. That's uh, that's the the beauty and the curse of this tactic. It really is. We're berating the boys, trying to get them going a bit. Here's Nelson, gets it in. Norman Willis Williamson away. I mean, that's wonderful. Madison now bombing down that left-hand side. He's still going. He has John Reyes. Why didn't he shoot? Well, that's cost us there. John Reyes just being too unselfish. He has Nelson now. Nelson, Willock, Quinn, Shackleton. Good tackle from Garcia. Good tracking back, but we've lost it again. Sigerson now for his hat trick, and there you go. Unbelievable. Within 25 minutes, we've had five goals here. It's 3 2 Leeds United, and you can almost guarantee that it's not over yet. Quinn, here's Willock, Willock, on the ball, Joe Willock shoots and almost scores, he's uh, looked pretty instrumental, Joe Willock actually, very impressed with him, you know, we, we didn't give him too much of a chance, he was very much a, a backup midfielder in our system, here's Shackleton, oof, good save, good save, now then, here's Ravella, gets it into the middle, oh, that's... Uh... That was a handball. Oh, goodness. James Madison having a poor game. It's a shame because we do give him these chances and he, he throws them back in our face by giving poor performances. Um, There you go. 3-2. We're going to thrash our arms about and say it wasn't good enough. And we're going to bring Neymar... Um, no, we're going to bring Thomas Lamar on for... Uh, James Madison in the second half and, and see what he can produce on that left hand side I'm hoping that he can do a little bit better he has end on belly into the middle, Norman Williamson is there and there's a wonderful set piece goal, that is why we're practising them week in, week out let's get Hady Henry on for, uh, for Dominic Rice Dominic Rice is it Dominic Rice? Declan Rice. <laughs> Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Declan Rice. No, Declan, Cal Declan Calvert-Lewin and Dominic Rice. Oh, I'm confused now. Yes, Emre. 
Emery on the ball. He has Willock. Oh, good save to Diogo uh, from Diogo Costa there. And Oscar Garcia looking a bit tired. Lamine to the middle. Couldn't do anything with it. He has Endombele now from the, working from deep. Endombele loses it. Willock wins it back, but here's Hady Henry now. Henry! Oh, that was close. That was close. Mm. Tommy Abraham looks like he's going to be the next to come off. Lamar gets it in. Norman Williamson. Oh, what a header that was. What a header that was from Norman Williamson. That was a long, long way out for a header. And it just looped and the keeper couldn't do anything with it. That was brilliant. Fifth goal of the season for him. Um, and, well, yeah, you just, you just can't complain about that. We're still attacking. We need to move that down in a bit. We'll see what the result of this highlight is. I feel like Leeds are going to get back into this. Here's Henry. Garcia now. Garcia gets it forward to John Reyes. John Reyes pushing forward, using his pace. Here's Endombele. Gets it to Thomas Lamar, who finishes it. Surely Leeds aren't going to get two goals in this last ten minutes or so. We're going to get Luis Suarez on for... Uh, Tammy Abraham, who's not having the best of times out there. We'll see if we can keep going. Luis Suarez, woof, nearly scored. And it's unbelievable how many goals we've had today, isn't it? What, what, what's that? Seven, 15 goals in two matches. But this is what can happen. You know, when, when we're confident and we're playing well, we will... Outscore an opposition. Thomas Lamar, what a run this is. What a run that was. And what a shame he didn't have the finishing the finishing touch there. Because that was a fabulous run. He's going to whip it in now. Can Max Norman Williamson get his hat-trick? He's headed it. Oh, 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 that was close to getting a defender a hat-trick. De La Cruz gets it in. And, uh, well, Diogo Costa is there. And now he boots it clear. He has Lamar, Thomas Lamar, Endombele gets it for Luis Suarez scores. It's 6 3, 16th goal of the episode, 17th if you include Calvert Lewin's disallowed goal. And that is that. Job done. We're through to the quarter final of the FA Cup. And this is what we can do to opposition. As I was saying before, when we're confident, when we're flying, the, when it falls down is when we're not playing well. And luckily at the moment, that's not very often. But uh, what a fantastic episode and what a brilliant comeback to, to play in some FM for the first time in a few days. 6-3, we beat Leeds United. Sigerson gets the hat-trick. I mean, very unlucky there. Um, end on Bele was was terrific. And uh, we're going to put our arm around him and say he was support, superb with the, the number of quality chances he created. Rice delight at the, the turnaround as well. And you can see there's just a wave of green, isn't there? A couple of reds in there. We haven't drawn a game since September. So things things are looking good. You have to say things are looking good. Let's see which teams are going to be in the FA Cup uh, quarterfinal. Can we have a look at that? Uh, here we go. Quarter for... Ah, oh, annoying. Uh, so fifth round. So who's gone through? So Liverpool have gone through. Uh, Eastley. <laughs> Eastley are in the fifth round of the FA Cup. That's an interesting tie against Birmingham. I hope they win it. Who have they played so far? Let's have a little look. Uh, they beat Peterborough and Coventry City. So, you know, they're not... They're not uh, giant killing yet. But, uh, hey, that's a lovely little cup run for them. Southampton are playing Man City. Uh, Southampton are having a very good season, by the way. They're in eighth. They posed a very big threat uh, to us a few games ago. Crystal Palace are through. Chelsea are through. Uh, West Brom are through. Tottenham are through as well. Um, so that's going to be a very tough tournament to win. But, hey, you know, we've got to beat the big teams someday. And we have shown this season we can beat the big teams. So when are we going to come back? That's the question. I think we might come back for, for the Man United and FA Cup quarterfinal matches. I think that, that seems to make sense. And then uh, that gives us a nice little run 
until the end of the season when I'll obviously show you the running and uh, whether we can win our first Premier League title. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for daily FM content from a Monday to a Friday. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.